Good evening, sisters and brothers. Welcome to the devotion to St. Anthony. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless and thank you for the gift of St. Anthony, who has been a faithful follower of our Lord Jesus Christ. During his earthly life, your son was so pleased with his life of holiness and love that he deigned to appear to him as the child Jesus. We pray through St. Anthony's intercession that we too, in our earthly pilgrimage, may come to love Jesus and serve him better, that one day we may arrive at eternal happiness where with our beloved saint, we may give you ceaseless praise and glory. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to God our Creator, the source and author of all holiness, who has given salvation in Christ. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in Saint Anthony. Guide our world leaders, to seek the way of peace and assist our brothers and sisters who are oppressed. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in St. Anthony. Look with kindness on those who have not had the 
gospel shown to them or who have lost their way. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in St. Anthony. Help those who are poor, who have no food or homes, who seek work. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in St. Anthony. Heal the sick and depressed, let the lonely know the comfort of your love, assist all in need of your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer as we honour you in St. Anthony. Lord Jesus Christ, bind us to you and to our neighbour with love. May our hearts not be turned away from you. May our souls not be deceived, nor our talents or minds enticed by allurements of error, so that we may never distance ourselves from your love. Thus may we love our neighbour as ourselves, with strength, wisdom and gentleness. With your help, you who are blessed throughout all ages. Amen. A reading from the second book of the Remembrance of the Desire of a Soul by Thomas of Celano. Chapter 13, A Brother Who Was Tempted. While the saint was staying in that same place, a brother, a spiritual man from the custody of Marsico, tormented by serious temptations, said in his heart, Oh, if only I had something from St. Francis, even the fingernail parings, I believe this whole storm of temptations will break up, and by the grace of God, calm would return. After receiving permission, he went to the place where Francis was and explained his purpose to one of our Holy Father's companions. But this brother answered him, I'm afraid it won't be possible for me to give you his nail parings, for even though we do sometimes trim his nails, he commands us to throw the parings away and forbids us to save them. At that very moment, the brother was called away and told to go to the saint who was looking for him. Would you look for some scissors for me, son? said the saint, so you can cut my nails right away. The brother brought out the scissors which he had already picked up for that very purpose and saving the clippings, gave them to the brother who had asked for them. He received them with devotion and preserved them even more devoutly and was immediately set free from all his struggle. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. Today's reading tells us that a brother struggled with temptation. As he was wrestling with a serious temptation, the first thing that came to his mind was wanting to have a fingernail pairings of St. Francis. But why? What is so special about St. Francis' fingernail pairings? Is it true that fingernail pairings of St. Francis can keep him away from serious temptations? The Catholic Church believes and teachings when someone who lived an extraordinary holy life and when canonized, the saint's whole body can become a first-class relic. According to today's reading, the brother was so impressed with the holiness of St. Francis that he was so sure something miraculous would happen if he would have St. Francis' fingernail pairings. Although at that time St. Francis had not been canonized yet, most people, including this particular brother, could already see the holiness of St. Francis, which was extraordinary and was certainly called Francis the Living Saint. The moral of the story today 
is that we learn to acknowledge that we cannot stand on our own two feet, especially when faced with difficult moments in our lives and faith. We also acknowledge that we cannot do anything without the grace of God. Then, we must have a desire to seek God as our source of strength and spiritual healing. Like a brother struggling with serious temptations, he had a strong desire to be set free and humbly acknowledge his weakness and went to St. Francis to ask for help. St. Francis himself had set the best example by imitating Christ and His Holiness radiated clearly until many miraculous things happened in connection with His Holiness. Brothers and sisters, let us emulate the example of the tempted brother, acknowledge that we are weak and in need of God for healing and deliverance especially when faced with serious temptation. Always have the strong desire to seek and draw near to God and live a life of faith by emulating the example of the lives of the saints and also acknowledge the power of their intercession. If you ask for miracles, death, error, all calamities, the leprosy and demons fly and health succeeds infirmities. The seal pigs and fetters break and lifeless limbs you do restore while treasures lost are found again when young and old aid implore. All dangers vanish at your prayer and deepest needs are cared for too. Let those who know your power proclaim, let all Christians say, These are of you. The seal bays and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. To the Father, Son, may glory and Holy Spirit eternally. The seal bays and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. God, our loving Father, you are glorified in your servant, Saint Anthony, whose glory is the crowning of your gifts to him in his life on earth you give us an example. In our prayer communion with him, you give us his friendship. In his prayer for the church, you give us strength and protection. We praise and thank you, Lord, for these benefits through Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Holy Saint Anthony, you are the consolation of so many people. We come to invoke your help confident of experiencing your goodness and power. Pray for us to the Father of mercies, that we may obtain the graces we need for ourselves and for our loved ones. My dear brothers and sisters, confident of God's abiding presence, let us now ask him for his help for the needs of our church and world. We rely on St. Anthony's intercession to support these are our prayers. Let our response to each petition be, Pray for us. This week, we have received 88 petitions, 12 for deceased, 18 seeking employment, 7 praying for their family members, 11 for financial aid, 9 praying for good health, 13 for relationship, 10 for spiritual well-being, 3 for studies, and 5 praying for the world. God, whose infinite kindness is beyond us, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters 
as they seek your help. For the Church and all Christians, that they may share their strength and weaknesses in mutual love and grow together in Christian life, witnessing to Christ's presence among them. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For those who represent us in government, may they serve all the people with integrity. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For parents, teachers, and those in charge of children, that they may lead by love and correct with patience and forbearance. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For truly loving Christian marriages, may all Christians' husbands and wives reflect in their married lives the love which Christ has for His Church. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For those searching for faith, that we may, that we may be their encouragement and support by our love and good works as they are led through our example, into the light of new life with God. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For doctors, nurses, and those with care of the sick, that they may be given love in their hearts and skill in their hands as they continue Christ's healing work, bringing consolation to those in their care. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For the sick, the homeless, the hungry, the unemployed, the imprisoned, the abused, that our prayer and love for them today will bring a little warmth and joy back into their lives. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For a deeper appreciation of the Lord's goodness to us, that we may never take for granted all the blessings of the Lord life, family, friends, and above all, the Eucharist. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For all the intercessions we bring to his devotion, for our loved ones, for all who have asked our prayers, and for those most in need of loving intercession. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For our loved ones who have gone before us, that the Lord who is good and forgiving may show them his abounding kindness in the land of the living. Saint Anthony, pray for us. True follower of Saint Francis, you put into our hearts the flame of your love, that we may love our merciful Father in heaven and our neighbour as ourselves. Pray that we may fulfil the will of God and live the way Jesus shows us in the Gospel. Be a guide for us this day, that we may recognise the opportunities God gives us to be helping and caring. Assist us in keeping the promises we made at our baptism. Help us to obtain the grace to walk in the light of faith and to proclaim that faith by the way we live. Amen. Saint Anthony, light of the Church, lover of God's law and doctor of the Gospel. Pray for us to the Son of God. Having offered up our petitions and needs before the all-loving and merciful God, let us with grateful hearts thank Him as we pray. We thank you, Father, for giving us Saint Anthony, who lived the Gospel life so faithfully. Through his intercession, may the good news of Christ inspire us to build up your kingdom and make the world a more fitting place for all to live. With Saint Anthony, we praise and bless you forever and ever. Amen. Together with Christians of all ages, 
Let us pray to the Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, with grateful hearts, we offer you thanks for the grace of loving you and serving you better through our devotion to St. Anthony. May you continue to shower upon us abundant graces through St. Anthony's intercession, that we may live lives of holiness and love, thus revealing to all the face of the child Jesus as we continue on our earthly pilgrimage. We make this prayer in your Son's most precious name. Amen. Bow your heads and ask for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and have mercy on you. Amen. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We adore you, most, most holy Lord Jesus Christ, here and in all your churches throughout the world, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Thank you for joining us today's devotion to St. Anthony. Have a good evening.